gotta tell you, I love this new shirt. Yeah. Welcome back, guys, to the Movie and Beer Show. I'm Eric Brenbeck, owner of Studio 35. This is Hope Madden, George Wolf of Mad Wolf, and Cheryl uh, at Drink Up Columbus. So we're going right to the tub this time, guys. Right so to the tub. Right, right to the tub. You Popcorn know what? tub. This is good because we are getting into scary movie season. So the question is, what movie scared you the most? Oh, no. Oh. Um. Maybe because I saw it earlier than I should have, but also it's just a really great scary movie. The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre just rightly so scared me to death. And I continue to believe it's one of the best horror films, true horror films ever made. And you're a huge horror huge. movie fan. Huge. Do you, still, do you still watch it? It's still it's, scary. You know what? It's one of those movies that I can't not watch. I don't oh. think it still scares me, but I love every frame of it. I, I adore that movie in a way that maybe I shouldn't. You know, like, I don't know if you've seen it, but this particular scene... Yeah, I love that scene. <laughs> I love that movie. I don't know what that is, but no, I'm you don't probably want to. afraid of it. All right, I don't Eric. think you want to. Well, mine's The Exorcist. So when I was a little kid, I watched this movie, and now I have dreams I'm going to hell all the time. They're premonitions, Eric. <laughs> Maybe. But so, like, any of that supernatural stuff, like The Omen or any of that kind of stuff, is just freaks me no, out. No, The Exorcist all. is a great it is a I great, wake up, I wake great up movie. screaming that I'm going to hell in bed, and my wife just wants to punch me. <laughs> I think you need a therapist. <laughs> maybe. I think it's some of this beer you're uh, drinking. Juju well, maybe, but <laughs> juju. no, that's it. I mean, no, that that's explains a, good one. a lot. All so. right, Cheryl. I don't watch a lot of scary movies. Uh, I don't of like I just drink beer. to be scared. I just drink beer, yeah. You, but the last one I can honestly remember seeing and being terrified of was The Ring. It's actually a really good one. I watched one. that one in broad daylight by myself. Couldn't go near a TV or answer a phone it's, for months. It's it's incredibly effective. It's one of the few, I think, American remakes that is considerably superior nerd to alert. the original. Nerd alert. <laughs> nerd alert. All right, George, what's Okay, yours? if I have to say a movie, a great scary movie is Wolf Creek. Uh, not a lot of people saw it, but look it up. And also, I have to admit, when I was a kid, the thing that scared me the most was an old episode of The Night Gallery. Nerd alert. The Night Gallery, where Roddy McDowell, and they, they kept changing this, this painting that, that hung in his house. And it had a body moving to the door slowly. The very last painting had the body at the door, and then you heard a knock on the door, and I was out. It was it was over. So <laughs> I know that's cheating. It was a TV Night movie, but it's scary. Night gallery. Night gallery. All right. Yeah. Interesting. But but it sort of leads into the ghost story. So there is supposedly ghosts at our theater. The most recent story is make it real quick is that the cleaning people were here. The mom was out in the theater. The mom, uh, the daughter was up front here. They heard crying. Like, <gasps> So she came out uh, into the bathroom, thought someone was outside, no one was outside, and someone was like, help me, help me. Yeah, so, yeah I'm dead serious. Absolutely. Why are we here right now? And so <laughs> that's pretty, pretty funny story. That's, yeah. You know, so, um, we got to feel me somewhere else. Do you know, like, do you have a backstory? Do you know who it might be? Did somebody, no, well, somebody kill their daughter in your don't bathroom? Don't know. That, that, I have no idea about the bathroom. The other one was there's a guy who used to come in the theater and sit, like, on the right-hand side. He died. His ghost was supposed to be floating around. There's a dog. His name's Toro. He was shot. That dog's supposed Toro. to be floating Stop around here. It. No, I'm, I, I'm just telling you. I, I, so I know the staff has also gone outside. Swears they turned off all the lights. They're out front walking in their car, and the, the marquee lights go on. No. And, and these are not crazy people. I mean, most of them are, but the, they're the same. <laughs> I don't know. People. They work with you, Eric. So. I know, There's just, a movie in this. There's I know. Movie I know. This. It's crazy, right? Well, what else is happening? <laughs> well, we have well, coming well, up. Well, Rocky Horrors. We have two shows in October. We have the Halloween special at the end of the month, Ooh. which is great. And then Fritz is also going to be here for two nights. The 18th uh, showing Trick or Treat, and the 19th showing Halloween. So that's pretty exciting, too. So. Cool. And what are we going to drink with that beer? Well, I think this beer, right? Yeah, All right, we've what got, is this? This is from Jackie O's, which is a brewery in Athens, Ohio. Beloved brewery by many in the state. They just started distributing heavily to Columbus. This is called Hop Riot. I don't like the face you just made. It's probably a little much for you. It's a rye IPA. I thought maybe the rye would kind of counter some of that Did IPA you? for you. Yeah, not so much. There's no hints of beach uh, aging George, what do you think? It's, I could get used to it. A little, it's a little bitter. Yeah. A little bitter beer face, maybe. <laughs> but um, Bitter beer face? Bitter beer face. If you can tolerate this, we're definitely moving in the right direction right, beer-wise. Okay. So. But Jackie O is really good, so if you see it anywhere, just get, ask for a taste. They have a, a this pop This is what you should do. Yeah, ask for a taste. Papa. Wah wah. It's a wah wah. Lucky no, no, they have a beer they make with pawpaws. Oh, yeah, they have a which pawpaw, is a thing. too. Well, like your grandpa? Your grandpa works with this brewery? <laughs> it's and... a fruit. Well, no wonder you're pushing it. It's a fruit. It tastes like not, shit, but not her grandpa with my works with it. Like a papa. It's a speaking fruit. in tongues. It's a uh... Southeast Ohio... Never mind. We're not going to get you on Hop Riot. We'll try again no. next month. Let's talk about some movies that are coming out. George, what's coming out? Well, the one we're looking forward to is the remake of Carrie. 
Yes? Yeah. So, yeah, yes. And I know that you're really excited about it because Chloe really Moretz, sure about that. Chloe Moretz is, he, you know, both of us are. I mean, we think that she's really very she's talented. Very and, and she's and, playing uh, Carrie. And she's playing Carrie. And I'm, um, I'm a little sensitive because I really love the original, in a huge way, I love the original Carrie. <laughs> but also because from the trailer, so Brian De Palma directed the original and he trimmed the ending. Um, Stephen King doesn't know how to end his story. I'm sorry if I've offended anyone. Any story just rambles needlessly. He has trouble with ending. He yeah. does. He has trouble with ending. Sort of like this review. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it looks like the new movie uses his ending, and so I'm a little worried about it. But the cast is spectacular. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay. So that, Chloe, she's great. I've seen her in a bunch of stuff, but I forever think of her as Jack Donaghy's rival in Thirty Rock because I'm more of a TV person than a movie person. <laughs> she's this little kid trying to take over the company. I don't know. Oh, I didn't it's see cute. that, but I like the sound of that. It's cute. She's adorable. <laughs> she's also a kick-ass, right? Yeah. She is. Yeah, she's hit girl. Yeah, and she's if, awesome. If, if you haven't seen. Let Let Me In, a uh, remake of Let the Right One In. Talking about scary vampire movie, movie awesome. vampire movie, she's, she's so great. Look it up, she's fantastic. Yeah, she let is. the Right One In. Let it, the Right One is the Swedish original. Oh, that's they, better. They yeah, remade it. Is, it. But they, they remade it well, and, it's and she very does a good, good job. Yeah. Um, I probably won't see Carrie though, because. And then Julianne Come Moore. Come on, if we can drink this Julianne beer, Moore you can see a scary movie. Right. All right, I'll see it if you finish this pint. <laughs> Do we both have to? <laughs> yes. Yes. Ooh. Two pints down. That's not gonna happen. I will go see a scary movie. Keep my eyes open the whole time. All right, Anyways, I'm guys. drinking it. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Come back next month to see us at the Movie and Beer Show. I'm Eric Brembeck, and Hope. George. <laughs> that, that one's Hope. That one's hope, George. George. Cheryl. Cheryl. Yeah. Right. We need a couple I'm more. I'm scared. Of these. All right. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>